Hello, people, students. Welcome to our science class. And again, this is Miss Claire. We are now on chapter five. It talks about materials, substances, and particles. Are you familiar with this lesson before? Okay. So in this chapter, you will learn three lessons. We have lesson one, particle models and properties. Lesson two, changing state. And lesson three, chemical reaction. So in this video, children, you will learn the two lessons, the lesson one and lesson two. Okay, are you ready? Come on, let's start. Before, okay, so let's start with lesson A. We have particle models and properties. So the learning aims of this lesson is to learn about the difference between materials, substances, and particles. Describe the particle model for solids and liquids. Use the particle model to explain the properties of solids and liquids. And so learn that particles are constantly moving. Okay, for our chapter trigger, we have here states of matter. You have learned that in your stage 3 lesson about solids and liquids. Look at this picture, children. Can you name a solid here? Yes, it's the iceberg and the liquid is the water or the sea water. Okay, for our thinking cap, Eddie is wondering why a solid doesn't fill up a container like a liquid does. Okay, what is a material? Material is matter that an object is made from. A matter that can be human-made or natural. They can be solids, liquids, or gases. So examples of materials are paper, cotton, glass, plastic, and metal. These are material that can be made into some items, right? Now, can you identify here? Take a look. The natural and human-made materials in these objects. So if you know the answer, you can share that during our class before. Now, what is a substance? A substance is made of one type of matter. A material can be made from one or more substances. So each substance has its own properties. So take note of that. So this one, take a look here. This picture is a concrete material. So a concrete children is a material used to make buildings. Concrete is made up of rock, sand, water, and other substances. Okay. Okay, let's have this one. So substances also are physical things that can be touched or measured. A pure substance is a type of matter that exists in its purest form and cannot be broken down any farther. So take a look here. These are examples of substance. Gold, diamond, copper, water, and sugar. Okay, they are pure substance and they cannot be broken down. They exist, they exist in its purest form. Okay, so what are particles? Okay, do you hear the word particles? So all matter is made up of particles. They are so tiny that we cannot see them. Scientists used to use a model to understand how particles in different states of matter behave. So this model is called the particle model. Take a look here. It helps the scientists explain the properties of matter. So we have two types here of particles. This one, this one is compact or they are close together. This one, the other side is slightly not compact, right? Okay, so solid. So this one is a solid particle. So the particles of solids are packed very closely. They have fixed positions. This gives solids a fixed volume, okay? So the particles vibrate or move back and forth quickly. They cannot be moved around and not move one around move around one another. This gives the solid a fixed shape. On the other hand, for liquids, the particles are not packed as closely together as in a solid. However, there is a very little space between the particles. So liquids have a fixed volume. So particles move around one another, so liquids can flow and take the shape of any container. So that's why if you put a liquid in a container, it will take the shape of the container. So take a look here. Of how, have you some pictures? Are these solid or liquid? 
Can you guess which one are sold or liquid? Okay, share your answer, children, during our class. Okay, so is there any solids that behave like liquids? Okay, so some solids, children, such as salt and flour, can behave like liquids. Why? Because they take the shape of the containers they are poured into. Salt is a solid. It is made up of a bit of it is made up of, a, of many small grains of solid salt. Take a look here. Then we can pour them as if, as if it were a liquid, but its grain of salt has a fixed shape. Its grain of salt is made up of particles, just like a powder milk, right? They are solid, but we can pour them like liquids, like a rice and cooked rice, right? We can put them in a container and they take the shape of the container because the particles of those solids are very small. Okay, let's continue. For our critical thinking, why do scientists use the particle model to describe the state of matter of materials or substance? Do you know the answer? Okay, I already explained it earlier. You can go back to this video. You can find the answer. Okay, so for our wrap-up for lesson A, what solids can you see in the picture? Can you find a solid that behaves like a liquid? Okay, can you find a solid here that behaves like a liquid? Take a look at this picture. Share your answer during our class before. Okay, for summary, for lesson A, material is matter that an object is made from. Materials can be human-made or natural. They can be solids, liquids, or gases. A pure substance is one type of matter in its original found state. A material can be made from one or more substances. The particle model describes the arrangement and movement of particles in a substance. Particles in different states of matter differ in their arrangement. They are constantly moving even in a solid. Particles move around more freely and faster in a liquid compared to a solid. Okay. Okay, now let's move to lesson B, changing state. The learning aims for this lesson is to use the particle model to describe melting and freezing. To learn that a change of state is a physical change. So, do you hear the word melting and freezing? Okay. For our lesson trigger for lesson two, two important changes are, are melting and freezing. What are the properties of solid? What are the properties of liquid? What is happening to the chocolate? Take a look here. What is happening to the water? Okay, so is it melting? Are they melting or freezing? Okay, for our thinking cap, we know that ice can melt into water. Are ice and water the same substance? What do you think? Okay, now for our main concept, a change of state is a physical change. The particle model helps us to explain the changes we see in a physical change. When an increase in temperature is applied to ice, so ice, when there is an increase in temperature, the ice melts. So from solid, it becomes liquid. The arrangement of the particles in a solid are tightly packed and have restricted movement. So the arrangement of the particles in a liquid move more freely. Okay, so what happens when a solid melts? When ice is placed in a warm room, it can change into water. And that is what we call melting from solid to liquid. We, we can use the particle model to explain what happens during melting. The particles in a solid are closely together. When a solid is heated, its particles gain heat. They vibrate faster and move farther apart. So when the particles gain enough heat, they break away from their fixed positions and move around one another. So the solid now becomes a liquid. That's the reason why when the ice becomes a solid. Oh, when the solid becomes a liquid. Next, some melting examples in our daily lives. We have melting the candle. This is a wax, right? A candle is made from wax. If we 
burn the candles, it will melt. And also the ice cream, it will melt in a warm place. Okay. Two solids melt at the same speed, do you think? All the solids melt at the same speed. Okay, share your answers during our class for this. Okay, so what happens when a liquid freezes? When a liquid is cold, its particles lose heat. They start to move slower and closer together. When the particles lost enough heat, they settle into fixed position. The liquid becomes a solid. When a liquid is cold, its particles lose heat. They start to move slower and closer together. So that's the time that it becomes solid. Okay? Now, some freezing examples in our daily lives. Take a look here. Juice in a tray freezes when placed in a freezer. And water in the lake can freeze during winter. So these are the examples. When we put water inside the freezer, of course, it will become an ice. So that is freezing. Okay? Now what are physical changes? Changes of state are physical changes. A physical change is when an object changes from one matter to another without changing the substance to a new substance. So when we take a look with ice or water, the water, when we put inside the fridge, it becomes solid or ice. But the substance there is, is still water, right? So there is no changes. So that is a physical change. In a physical change, no new substances is formed. One or more physical properties of the substance may change. Examples of physical changes are changes in size, shape, and appearance. Okay, so that is what we call physical changes. Examples of physical changes. When a butter melts, it changes the size, the shape, and appearance, but the substance there is still the same. We did not add, nothing was changed. Only the physical appearance changes. Okay, are there any changes for this one? Change in state or no change in state? Okay, freezing water. Freezing water change in state. No change in state tearing a paper. When you rip a paper, there's no change on that. Bending Play-Doh. You, you bend a Play-Doh. How about crumbling paper? When you crumble a paper, that is still a paper. When you break a, a pencil, that is only a pencil. There's no changes. It does not become a liquid or solid. But when you melt a wax and you boil water, a solid becomes liquid, a liquid becomes solid. So that there is a change in state for that. Okay, for our TikTok, we need water to survive. However, many people around the world do not have clean drinking water. In 2020, scientists from Singapore created a water-producing aerogel. It is a special type of material can, that can draw water from the air. It gathers water in the gaseous state from the air and turns it into a liquid. So find out about the properties of aerogel that make it a useful material. How can this material be useful to your community? So during our class, let's discuss more about this TikTok lesson about aerogel. Okay, P4? Okay, P4, that's all about lesson A and B for chapter 5, materials, substances, and particles. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. Thank you for watching and... I hope that you learn a lot in this video. Always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy your day.